Hey there, it's Melissa Zimmerman, virtual assistant and digital creator. And I wanna show you how to use my newsletter template content in other email platforms outside of MailChimp or Gmail. If you're using either MailChimp or Gmail though, check your template package for instructions on those platforms specifically as they are much less involved in this process. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you Flowdesk, which is just another email platform. Very pretty, very simple to use, but it doesn't have the capability of importing a template like MailChimp does. So I'm in Flowdesk, I'm gonna click Create New. I'm gonna choose Start from Scratch to do a blank email. I'm just gonna give it a name, and then it's going to open up the um, template here. So Flowdesk, super easy to use, just like MailChimp. It's very much um, click, drag and drop kind of thing. Click the arrow or the plus signs and you can add anything in above or below. But for these purposes, I wanna show you how to take the content and put it into these emails. So what I have open um, also in this, this window, I have the graphics folder, which you get included. And I have the content with a link to the graphics templates for like the header, the footer, um, and then the link back to that graphics folder. What you can't see because I'm unable to put it in this thing, in this window, is I also have a copy of the newsletter template open so that I can just go from that. That's also included in your package. So the first thing that I wanna add in is to add a header. I'm not going to, I'm actually gonna delete this logo one and click add image. And you can upload any image into here. I did not have mine open, so one moment. Um, let's go with this one. So I just drug it from my file, failed at adding it into there. Oh boy, okay, clicking, upload image from my downloads. Let's use this one with, there we go. There's my header graphic. I'm gonna come over here to the content. I'm gonna select the greeting information. I'm going to, you can either right click and copy, you can use Command C on a Mac, or you can use Control C on a Windows. Go back here and I'm going to edit this first box here. Oops. <laughs> I don't know why it won't let me edit it. Oh, select all of it. And you can either right click and click paste or you can do Command V or Control V. I might space this out a little bit so that um, it just looks a little bit nicer and kind of reads the way that I want it to look, but you can choose that. You can change your fonts over here. You can change the size. Right here, I'm going to change though and add fields. Subscriber's first name is what's going to go there. Um, fallback values. So this would be if the, the person's name is not available, I'm gonna put friend. So insert field, and what it's going to look like is you can see the preview right here. Hi, Rebecca, or hi, friend. I hope your week is going amazing, et cetera, et cetera. Then I could add in the divider here. And the next things that I would add are just like in the template, I would add my graphic. I, you can download this graphic, add it in here, add the content, and really play with it that way. So it's it will take a little bit longer for you to create the template from scratch but you will be able to just use the content and use the the template that i've created the graphic template version to give you an idea of the layout then you can link things so i'm going to click the header link it i'm going to link it to my web page and just like that it's done so flowdesk is really pretty it's really simple to use it everything is auto saved um, you can use one of these templates and then duplicate it in the end. So you can see down here in the right corner, it says save. So I'm gonna go back to Flowdesk. And if you wanted to, you've done the work the first time, you can click these arrows and click duplicate to create the same format for next month. Then all you're doing is copy and pasting into each field instead of creating each field new. So that's kind of the way to do it. If you're using a different like Flowdesk, um, Drip, um, I can't act active campaign. I can't think of other ones off the top of my head, but if that's, if you're using a different one, that's how you can do it. If you are using an email platform um, that allows you to use HTML coding or HTML imports, please let me know because I do have the coding for that, but it isn't included with the package because it's a little overwhelming if you don't know the HTML coding. 
And if you're using MailChimp, please use a MailChimp import because that is so much simpler. Let me know in the comments if this tutorial helped you. If you wanna stay up to date on future tutorials, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down in the bottom left. And if you wanna check out this newsletter template or any other templates to help streamline your online coaching business, check out melissazimmermanva.com. Look forward to working with you soon. Have a really awesome day.